Well, it is Thanksgiving at the Cartoon Lounge, but you know, we're really busy here, so it's going to be sort of a real express Thanksgiving. Got my turkey sandwich on raisin bread. Mm. And my traditional pumpkin spice latte. Is that great or what? Well, since it's Thanksgiving, let's talk turkey or football, or maybe both in one cartoon. Like this cartoon by Jason Adams Katzenstein. This once again is a captionless cartoon and a very good one. It mashes up the two things we think about at Thanksgiving, turkey and football. Uh, there's a great cartoon from 1983 by John Dronick, also captionless, which shows a football game between the Native Americans and the Pilgrims in classic football formation. One more Thanksgiving cartoon, one of my favorites. It shows an uh, Indian chief and a pilgrim, and the Indian chief is saying, let's keep it small, just the pilgrims, the Indians, and the Rosenthal's. That's a favorite cartoon of many, many people, especially people named Rosenthal. Got an interesting question here from a guy who says, I'd like to learn to draw just for fun, and to make better than just recognizable things when I'm doodling for my toddler. I don't seem to have any natural talent for it, but maybe I can create something from nothing. Well, you know, people think they have nothing, but usually they do have something. Everybody draws as a kid, and one of the things Picasso said is it took him his whole life to draw like a child. So that ability just to have fun drawing, because you say just for the fun of it. It is fun just to draw. And remember also, you're drawing for your toddler. He's not an art critic. <laughs> Truthfully, in cartooning, there are a lot of people who have wonderful ideas and can't draw all that well, yet they draw well enough to get across their ideas. I think that was absolutely true of James Thurber, who was not a, a great draftsman, and yet his drawing was absolutely perfect for his loopy ideas. Thurber actually did try to get better at drawing. He was once practicing, and E.B. White, the writer, saw what he was doing, and he said, don't try to get any better. If you got any better, you'd be mediocre.